This is a short video I'm recording just to make sure you have a sense of how the Blackboard page is going to work. Um, for those of you familiar with Blackboard, none of this should be too surprising. If there is anything confusing, again, same old thing I'm going to say probably every video I record. Send me an email, stop by office hours, let me know if there's something I can do to make things better. All right, so when you go to the course Blackboard page, the first thing that's probably going to pop up is this folder called the book. I actually don't know why that's the first one that pops up. Uh, I'm going to try to change that. But anyway, on the left-hand side, you're going to see the different options, the different pages that you need to go to for this course. Announcements, that is where I'm going to post any sort of important reminder. This is also going to appear in an email. Uh, so for example, first one I posted, make sure you take the inquisitive quiz. That's the first quiz. Um, I'll post things on there just that I want you to know. Um, keep an eye on it. It's a good thing to check every once in a while. This one is going to be the least useful link, My Instructor. So if you go to the My Instructor page, you're going to see a link to a talk that I gave um, last semester at the APS Community Reading. If you want to know more about me, I'll also post my office hours on there. I'll post my email. So just really basic information. Basic course stuff. This is going to be something that you always want to keep an eye on. So this is where you're going to find anything related to the course that isn't going to appear in the book or in the weekly course materials. So what do I mean by that? You'll find the syllabus here, very useful document. You're going to find where you submit key assignments like the photo essay or the sociological autobiography. Again, those are the two big assignments for the semester. You'll find things like the grading rubric if you want to know what am I looking for in the photo essay? That's going to appear here. Uh, I'll record a video that explains what I'm looking for as you go forward with the assignment. That's also going to appear here. You're going to find assignment descriptions like the sociological autobiography assignment description. All that stuff is going to appear here. So make sure you keep an eye on this. It isn't going to be the weekly things you need, but it's going to be those big things about the course that don't make sense to appear in the weekly course material. That brings me to weekly course materials. In the, in the weekly course materials folder, this is where I'm trying to make this course make as much sense as possible. So I am putting out the weeks, right, by the material, uh, uh, week by week following the syllabus. So if you click on course orientation, that's the stuff that you might want to know before you start the class, right? So welcome to SOS 100 online, some basic information, uh, welcome video and a course overview. Make sure to watch that how to purchase the digital ebook, how to register for the register for inquisitive on Blackboard, those basic things you need for the course. Then you get into the individual weeks. Week one, what are you going to find in week one? Well, you'll find all the readings you need to do. You'll find links to the in-class writings. So you've got one on the sociological imagination, uh, one on just basic questions about getting to know you that I talk about in the welcome video. You're going to find a link to the quiz that you need to take. So I'm going to do this for every week, right? So if you go to week two, which I'm currently working on today, you'll find a link to the supplemental reading. You'll find a link to the quiz. And soon I'll put up a link to the in-class writing. And also, uh, this, is where also this is where I'll also include the video lecture for the week, right? So all the material is going to be appearing here. I'm starting to populate the folders this week. I'm hoping by the end of the week that will be good, probably through week four, um, but I'll make them visible as I complete the folders. All right, so that's an overview of how Blackboard works. Um, other things that you might want to know, if you need to check your grades, you can go to my grades. That will tell you how you're doing in the course. I'll try to keep that as updated as possible. Um, but that is it. If you have any questions, um, let me know. Uh, oh, the one other thing that you might want to know, send email is useful. If you need to contact me, just use that. You can also just go into your webmail and type in my address. If you have any questions about the class, go to the FAQ, which stands for Frequently Asked Questions, and then click on Questions and Confusions. And that's where you can actually edit the wiki content and add a question, I will answer it. The nice thing about that is instead of, there's a, uh, 120 of you, right? So say there's a student named Sarah and she emails me with a question about an assignment and I respond to Sarah. She's the only one who got that information and I am sure if Sarah has a question about how the class works, I'm 100% I'm sure that Mike also has that question 
or John also has that question, right? So instead of emailing me, just put, you can just put it in the wiki content in the frequently asked question section and I'll answer it for everyone. Or if you email me a question that I think other people should also pay, should pay attention to, I'm going to put it here. So say Sarah says, uh, you know, is it okay to mention this reading in my sociological autobiography? I'll probably just cut and paste and I'll let her know I'm doing this. I'll cut and paste it into this section and I'll answer it. So check this every once in a while if you want to see what type of updates are taking place, what type of questions are people asking. All right, that's it. That's how the Course Blackboard page works.